You've been talking a lot about the disintegration of the black family and how the lack of family structure in the black community has plagued us in a lot of our problems. Recently, you know, I've been, I've been trying to, uh, I don't really have an opinion on this yet. I've been trying to look um, into Black Lives Matter and discover what the movement's really about. Um, I used to support it, but then recently I've been doing research. I'm learning that their movement is funded by George Soros. $33 million injected. Yeah. Yep. He's a white liberal who's not really our friend. And then also I looked on the Black Lives Matter website and I saw that instead of saying history, it says her story. They literally changed the word. They mentioned gay people. They mention women, they mention non-binary, they say nothing about straight black men and nothing about straight black fathers in the household. So it's like, I'm trying to figure this out because I'm, I'm, it's like, this is, this is the thing I've noticed here even at Stanford. It's like people, you know, could get mad at me for saying this, but, but my thought is like, you know, straight, being a, there's not a lot of straight black males here. There's not a lot of straight African, Amer African American males here. A lot of them, a lot of them, I, I'm cool with gay people. I'm cool, I'm not homophobic. We all are, we all are cool I'm, with gay I'm people. I'm cool with gay people, but the thing is, I've been researching this, and there's thoughts about population control, and like how with, with gay black men, you have less straight black fathers, you don't have role models. So then we look to rappers and, and NBA players. So it's like, I'm cool with gay black people. <laughs> my, my you gotta say it one more time, man. We didn't my, my best friend is a gay black dude, bro. Like, I'm not homophobic, but I'm just saying, I've been researching Black Lives Matter, and I've been understanding the politics and how they're funded by white liberals. And recently, I've been feeling like they're white liberals in blackface because right. they're, they're, they're white liberals in blackface. And when I say that, it's because the white liberals, it's all about feminism, LGBT. White liberals don't really care about black people. That's I correct. realize white liberals don't really care about me, bro. That's correct. I'm off the plantation, bro. I'm off the plantation, bro. I escaped the plantation, bro. I'm empowered. They don't want me to have power. <laughs> they want to keep me dependent. But I'm he realizing like this. They put white liberal like ideas. LGBT, women, non-binary, white <laughs> feminism, all that Hillary Clinton stuff. Put it in blackface. Because if we say it, it's going to be some yeah. Yeah. So then Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, it started by Stand three up. lesbian women. It started by three lesbian women. It's not really supporting black families. My question is, what do you think that has to say about the movement that they don't mention anything but about you're black cool fathers? I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what it means. Okay? Nothing so about off, black fathers. First off, I'm first cool off, them. if I can just say, woo, another one off the plantation. They got, a, they got a problem. And this is how it starts, right? So this is how it starts. So what he said in the beginning is really interesting. Is he said, originally, I, I liked Black Lives Matter. Me too. Why would I be opposed to that? Um, black lives matter, right? Of course they matter. So you have to understand something about the left. They are incredibly good when it comes to linguistics. They use euphemisms, right? Planned parenthood. Of course I want parenthood to be planned. Oh, by the way, we're actually killing 800 black babies every <laughs> single day. Eeks, you know? So this is what they do. They manipulate you by using a term that no person in their right mind would be against, right? Who would be against planned parenthood? Who, who would be against black lives mattering? But the truth is, when you do a deep dive and you start to look at the finances, you're exactly right. Their idea is to keep black people, as you just mentioned, enslaved and dependent via their emotion and their anger, right? So what I would say to you first off is to encourage you to keep going and to keep doing a deep dive because that's how it started for me, right? It was one thing that didn't make sense. It was this constant narrative being shoved down my throat. But when I deep dived on these organizations and looked at who was funding them, it never really lined up to, to the things that would make the black community better. You mentioned that they want to, re that you realize that they don't promote straight black men, right? They never talk about the things that matter, black fathers in the home. That's because they don't want black fathers in the home. Make Bingo. no mistake. So congratulations to you. Keep digging. And can somebody at Turning Point USA get his uh, stuff so we can, we can hire him? <laughs> right?